In this video, we're going to be talking about a surgical option that has the potential to leave you totally glasses free and could be the new LASIK killer. Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Martin Oguzi. I'm a UK based optometrist and this channel is all about helping you to see better, see more comfortably and also to be less anxious about your eyes. Now, please think about subscribing to the channel. If you do, hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll be reminded every time I upload a brand new video to the channel. Now, what is LASIK? Well, unless you've been living under a huge rock over the last 10, 20 years, then you probably will know that LASIK is a laser refractive technology and technique used to be able to kind of scope the front of the eye, the cornea, uh, and leave people essentially uh, free from using glasses. The problem is for anybody who has ever explored having a laser correction done using a procedure such as LASIK, uh, is that it's not always perfect. And if you are somebody who needs glasses for distance and reading, then one of the things you may not have realized up until you went and had your appointment is that laser correction only deals with your far sight. Now over the years, traditionally, this has been a problem that has had many patients that I've come across uh, heading all the way to a uh, clinic, having the consultations done and what have you, and only to then be disappointed and uh, turning back and feeling kind of totally defeated because the idea of having LASIK uh, done or laser correction done, um, you know, is to be totally glasses free. So the idea of having to wear glasses to read a newspaper, for example, after having that procedure and spending all that money just seems to defeat the object for so many people. A more recent development and innovation uh, by these laser companies uh, is a technique called a uh, lens replacement. Depending where you are in the world, it's probably called something else. Uh, but this lens replacement um, procedure is ideally there to solve the problem. But the question is, does it really work and does it uh, solve that problem for everybody? Well, the funny thing is that it's not actually that clear because I haven't actually seen many patients who've had this procedure done and have come back to report um, a successful outcome or have got many glowing results to uh, tell me about. Uh, that doesn't mean that the procedure doesn't work. However, what I can do is explain to you what this procedure involves so that you can come to your own conclusion about whether you think this procedure makes sense for you. Now lens replacement surgery for all intents and purposes is basically a glorified cataract operation and that's probably a good thing because a cataract operation is one of the most successful operations that you can have certainly as far as your eye is concerned. Uh, it's a technique that has been used um, um, you know, greatly over many years and it works very well. Uh, the difference between a cataract operation, a standard cataract operation and lens replacement surgery is basically the lens that's put into your eye. So just as a quick rundown, if you don't know what a cataract operation involves, this is a procedure uh, that uh, involves the crystalline lens in your eye being kind of uh, chopped up and the content within the crystalline lens being removed because that's where a cataract will usually form and it gets cloudy. So the content within is removed and will leave the outer shell, uh, which is called the capsule in place and then within the capsule is in place an artificial lens. Now, why do we need a lens at all to be put back into the capsule? Well, the simple answer is because the crystalline lens has a huge optical power. And if you remove it and fail to replace it with something equivalent, then you are going to be left with your patient requiring really, really thick glasses. Now in a cataract operation, when a lens is implanted into the capsule, uh, this is usually a single vision lens. However, it still requires you to need reading glasses for close up, like reading a newspaper after you have a cataract operation done. Now the difference here is that with lens replacement surgery, the lens that's implanted is a multifocal lens. So it aims to improve your distance of vision as well as your close up near vision as well. And if all goes well, the idea is that you are then as happy as Larry and you are able to manage without any glasses whatsoever and of course that is the ideal kind of dream and situation uh, for most people who go into uh, having a cataract operation or indeed having a surgery like LASIK. Now of course when people turn up to laser correction uh, surgeries um, hoping to have this uh, LASIK procedure done and uh, being totally glasses free 
Naturally, people will be disappointed to learn that they will need to use reading glasses post-surgery. So this is a procedure that many clinics um, in recent years have been offering to people to be able to entice them to go ahead with some kind of procedure. And a potentially, this is a procedure that will be able to solve the problem of distance and reading vision without the need for glasses um, altogether. Now, my personal anxieties and concern about this procedure is the fact that in many other areas of optics, where whether that's um, dealing with a multifocal glasses or multifocal contact lenses, we know that these things can often be very complex and often, uh, you know, they may not be got right the very first time. So my concern would be how accurate and how, um, you know, what percentage of people have this procedure done and uh, come out with no problems and, uh, you know, the optics of the lenses are perfect uh, the first time around. Because clearly, at the end of the day, having a procedure like this is fairly permanent. You know, you don't want to be going back in to have the procedure again to fish a lens out and replace it or anything like that. Now, obviously, I can't speak to, you know, the uh, results that people are getting because we just aren't really seeing many of these people coming into our practices. I mean, that could well mean that they're all, you know, really satisfied and really happy and never come back for eye tests. But, you know, we just don't really know. Uh, so if you've had this procedure done, let me know in the comments section below. How did you find it? Did it work out great for you? I genuinely would be interested to know. So my final kind of thoughts and conclusion on whether lens replacement surgery is really going to be the kind of LASIK killer going forward is basically that, you know, it might well be uh, because the reality is that LASIK is um, now a very, very good procedure, very precise, particularly if you're having a totally bladeless technique. Uh, done uh, using the femtosecond laser, then this means that, uh, you know, no physical blades used on your eye uh, while you're having LASIK done. It's all done with this super fast laser, um, all of the kind of uh, cutting or the flap creation uh, and also all the kind of sculpting of the cornea. And that really yields um, very good um, healing, very good um, clarity without some of the associated problems that, you know, conventionally we've had in the past with laser procedures. So, LASIK does work very well um, in the right hands and the right clinic. Um, however, I would advise if you're thinking about having uh, a procedure like this done, you really want to have it done uh, perhaps in your 30s. So at least you're going to have a decade or so of not needing to worry about needing reading glasses. But if you are somebody in your 40s, 45 and upwards, uh, then it's certainly worth thinking about a lens replacement as a, a viable option and way to be able to remain or be glasses free uh, going forward. I would probably uh, caution that people do need to kind of do a bit of research into this um, or so a significant amount of research and particularly to get testimonials and kind of success results look into you know the kind of likelihood likelihood of um, visual artifacts and things that might be created by that multifocal lens you know, ask these blunt questions and kind of see what um, you know you un unveil really and make sure that you then feel comfortable and satisfied with the results that you've been told before you decide to go ahead obviously as well it makes sense to really use a reputable um, clinic uh, that way you ensure you know you, you you're probably going to get the kind of best um, surgeons and best support um, going forward. I think also, I think in the future we might see lens replacement um, trickling into more of the mainstream um, kind of a therapy and mainstream way of uh, correcting cataract uh, operations. So whereas currently most lenses, as I said, are single vision, when this uh, technology gets better, then it may be that more people are having multifocal lenses put in um, after cataract operations rather than the single vision uh, lenses that only correct the distance aside their vision. So I think it, it's certainly going to be uh, one to watch and I think and I suspect that um, lens replacement is going to become a lot more mainstream uh, going forward uh, for people who have cataract operations. One of the issues right now um, is that if you're in a place like the United Kingdom, where I'm based, um, most people are used to getting their cataract operations done free of charge under the National Health Service. 
uh, a multifocal lens replacement procedure would not be covered and it's something that you'd have to go private for. Nevertheless, I think this is a very interesting procedure, definitely worth watching out for this and looking into it a bit more if you've never heard of, of it before and um, ask the right questions. And I wanna know if you are somebody who has had this procedure done, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, it's really kind of uh, rare to find uh, these individuals, uh, but if you are somebody or you know somebody, let us know what your thoughts are, what your experiences are. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Please make sure you subscribe, like, share this video and hit that notification bell as well. Thank you so much. I look forward to catching you next time. Take care.